All right, hey everyone, welcome back to Part Out where we talk about off-road rigs and accessories. Today I'm kind of running solo where it's just me and this here Jeep that my friends just uh, tossed over to me. What we've got here is a 2021 Wrangler JLU and this one's actually packing a four-cylinder engine. So we've got a two liter four cylinder in here. I'm trying to think, it's packing what? 270 horsepower, almost 300 foot pounds of torque. Uh, I kind of like those numbers and I kind of want to see how fast this thing goes. So we'll do a quick little zero to 60 test here in a second. But first, kind of want to show you this Jeep because my friends built it up. They put a zone three inch lift kit on here, um, as well as some 35 inch tires and some uh, Moto Metal wheels. So, uh, you know, let's give it a good look here. Things that I really like about the zone kit, uh, that they put on here is that it's uh, fairly inexpensive. It's actually you know a pretty good entry level kit that you can put on a Jeep Wrangler. I think like starting point for these kit lift kits is like what is it like three hundred and thirty or three hundred and fifty dollars, and that's for a full three inch lift. And then you can customize it from there. You can go with like uh, their their what are their shocks? Uh, the Nitro Series shocks and then uh, other things as far as like spacers and all sorts of things. But yeah, you can customize their kits, make it to whatever you want. The tire choice, uh, you know, I mean, Fury tires, not my first choice for off-road use, but they're, they're a good filler tire for, you know, on-road and, you know, some trail use. And then we got the Moto Metal wheels on here. You know, it, everyone has their own preferences uh, as far as the styling goes. And not necessarily for me, but definitely for a lot of other people because a lot of people like to run Moto Metal wheels. I can talk all day about parts and accessories, but really I just kind of want to see how this Jeep rides and drives. And I really want to see if this four-cylinder engine lives up to the expectations that it does on paper. So let's go ahead and take it for a drive. Going to get in another Jeep because all Jeeps are totally the same thing. We have the window sticker back here. This thing is priced out, out the door at $36,000. Jeeps cost so much money. Initially, I can really feel that there is a lot of low end torque. I mean, I say a lot. I mean, for a Jeep, this is, you know, it's a good amount of torque I'm feeling on the low end. And there's definitely a good amount of turbo lag when you want to punch it. All right, so let's see here. We're going to go least amount of traffic. Go left. All right, so we're going. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I can get used to this. This is pretty nice. I've really, really grown to appreciate the interior on the new Wrangler JLs. I mean, this is a really nice, well laid out look. And every time I get in one of these things, it's, I, you just feel right at home. It just, you just feel like you want to go out for an adventure, which obviously is what they're trying to prove with the Wrangler. It's an adventure based vehicle that you can just take off road and do whatever you want with it. Fuel economy, eh, not, not really worried about it when you lift it and put bigger tires on it. Um, this zone kit is uh, riding pretty great. I mean, the, the Jeep, feels just like it did from the factory just now we're taller and we got bigger tires on it pull off here and we're gonna see if i can get a quick zero to 60 rough zero to 60. stop what oh that's right this is a new vehicle we got the start stop bullshit. i am going to put it at a full stop got my stopwatch here in three two one Ooh, wheel spin we got some wheel, wheel spin in a wrangler Stop. Zero to 60 was 9.5 seconds with 35 inch tires and a three inch lift kit. Huh. Let's try this again. And all right, here we go in three, two, one. It just takes a second to really get going. Stop. All right, we did a little better. I granted there's probably a little bit of a delay between my thumb and whatever, but hey, we got a 9.3 for zero to 60. So I guess we're looking at the between nine and 10 seconds, zero to 60 time with the four cylinder turbo on 35 inch tires, three inch lift kit. Can't really complain about that. This Jeep's got plenty of go. What really takes a second is for that turbo to spool up and really get it going. If, if there wasn't that lag there, I'm sure it'd probably be like a two second, one or two second difference there. So. Oh, there we go. Jeez, oh, this thing is just <clears throat> not wanting to do it. We tried doing a manual shift zero to 60 earlier, and that came out to like 11 something because it just, the, the gear change took so much longer to figure out what it wanted to do when you actually selected it. It was like, oh, you're, you're really wanting to shift already? And I was like, yes, I want to shift right now. And it's like, yeah, let me think about it. And it's in regular automatic mode. We're able to go a little bit faster off the line and 
it's just waiting on those turbos to spool up. Overall, I'm really enjoying this Jeep. It's just a smooth ride. I really am quite shocked because, you know, the price point of this lift kit, when you get into these cheaper lift kits, you, you, you expect like to, you know, make sacrifices here and there and, you know, justify, well, I, w I just wanted to lift the Jeep. I wanted to look cool kind of thing. Eh, not the case here. I mean, this Jeep is really, you know, it's really smooth. These uh, Nitro Series shocks and everything just soaks it right up. This is a pretty good riding Jeep. Let me know, do you think like the four cylinder engine was a good choice for Jeep? I mean, so far just driving it, I think it's great, but long term, I'm not 100% sure how well it'll hold up when you're putting this small of an engine through the paces of, you know, rock crawling and, uh, you know, bigger tires, armor, all that stuff that Jeep owners do to Jeeps. So far though, I'm happy with it, but you know, let me know in the comments what you think and, uh, you know, feel free to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell notification, that way you can get, be notified when we're working on new stuff. If you haven't caught the last episode yet, but we did part one where we bought the cheapest Jeep Wrangler Rubicon on Auto Trader. That is just a mess of a project, but we've got her up and running. It's good to go, but we're just waiting on some back ordered parts to come in the mail. And once we get all those in, we'll be shooting part two for that. So like I said, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.